And this one is Mavzar Ivalov versus Mike Grundy at 145 pounds. Mm -hmm. Mavzar is out of Russia. He's 26 years old. He's 5 feet 7 inches tall. He's 2-0 in the UFC. He's won both of his uh, fights in the UFC by decision. He uh, is the former 135-pound M1 champion. Um, but all of his fights in the UFC have been at 145 pounds. Mm -hmm. So he's competed at the lighter weight class, and he's moving up right now. Um, then he's going against Mike Grundy. Mike Grundy is from England. He's 12 and one. He's 33 years old. He's five feet seven inches tall. He's one and zero in the UFC with a TKO win over Nadni Armani, who just fought recently. Um, he's the former Aspara FC 145 pound champion. And uh, you know, let's get into it. What do you think? Well, Evloev is another one of those guys that um, in one in one of his fights, I believe I heard him say he was a Tiger Muay Thai guy as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, his striking's obviously good. Yep. And one thing I was impressed with, though, is he had really good wrestling, too. Yes, he does. It seems to be a common theme when you get a lot of those uh, Russian guys, Dagestani, Eastern European. I or... think, well, I think in general with that Tiger Muay yeah. Thai team, because it's called Tiger Muay Thai. But they but all they, have good wrestling they bring skills. In, yeah, they have world championship caliber wrestling coaches there for the team. You know, so... These guys, they might go there as just strikers or just wrestlers beforehand, but they come out well mixed, like well rounded, well -rounded. mixed martial artists. Yeah. So, I mean, he's he's also got a lot of power in his jabs, kind of yeah. like uh, Panny, you know? He, yeah. He throws a phenomenal jab. Um, if you look at him, though, when he does go to take, you know, get those takedowns and stuff, he, he doesn't really move his head too much for a guy with good striking, yeah. which is kind of weird because he's willing to take those shots. Yeah. Um, and then with Grundy, Grundy, he's a boxer, man. Yeah, he's um, If you look at his stance, he keeps his hands up real nice and tight, and he kind of reminds me of like a really small Mike Tyson, the way he throws his hands. Uh, you know, he, he I, has, I, I really like, I like, I like Mike I Grundy. I like Grundy, too. When I was looking at both of their videos, man, it was really hard for me to pick the winner of this fight. Well, when I first started studying this, like, I was looking automatically, I'm like, oh, Mavzar's got this. Mazar's got this. So I and picked Mazar first. And I started studying <laughs> it, and, uh, you know, I'm like, gosh, I don't know. This is this is closer than I thought. You yeah. know, so I start looking at it, and, and I was thinking about the wrestling of Mazar, and I was like, man, that's going to be the biggest thing right there. Then I learned that Mike Grundy knows how to wrestle. He he's does. He's a freestyle wrestler. Yep. Right? So he's a bronze medalist in the Commonwealth Games, mm -hmm. um, and he's a, a European Nogi Jiu-Jitsu champion. He has a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. So he's not someone that you want to take, you, you want to sit there and uh, take for granted on the ground. No. You know, so he has eight submission wins there. He can hang. Most of his wins are by submissions. He only yep. has one knockout. You know, we're talking about how good his hands are, but he only has one knockout. Yeah, it's crazy. And I was watching his fight, and I was super, his fights, and I was super excited about him. But it, it, this is a difficult one because if you look at Mazdar, he has five wins by decision, four wins by submission, three by knockout, and uh, you know he's been he's been able to finish people anywhere or or fight the distance or do whatever he has to do to win. He's just been an overall yeah. tough guy. What I am curious about with him is uh, he was supposed to fight Jamal Emmers before UFC 248, <coughs> and he was riding on a motorcycle and he got hit by a car. That ended up pulling him off of the fight, and he hasn't fought since then. So I looked at the pictures of some of his injuries from, from that car accident. It didn't look too bad. Yeah. But, you know, what you can see versus what you actually feel on the inside could be a lot different. I got in the car accident back in 2015, and it took me about a year to get, to get back to uh, being healthy where I was at and, and, and good, and I didn't look nearly as bad as him. Um, I wonder if that plays effect into this fight. It's going to be interesting because Grundy hasn't fought since March 2019. Yep. And uh, Mavsar hasn't fought since uh, October of 2019. Yes. So both these guys are coming off pretty long layoffs. It's going to be a fun fight. So, But either way, this is my first pick for fight of the night. Um, this is my fight of the night. I alert. like it. Bing, bing, bing. I like it. Um, I like it. I have right here written in my, in my notes. Fun fight. Yeah, man. And, and I love these fun fights. For me, I've got uh, Grundy winning a very, very close decision. Ooh, you know what? I got Mike Grundy winning by submission. Okay. Like I said, you know, he's he's skilled on the ground. Yeah, they both. Mazvar's going to take him down. This is true. He's going to take him down because Grundy's got those hands. 
Mm-hmm. He's gonna hit him a little bit, and Mazbard he kind of gets a little wild on those uh, on those feet or on the feet, and he's he starts hitable, swinging, though. and that's the problem because he's because he's wild. And then what what Grundy's gonna do is he's gonna capitalize on Mazbard getting wild. He's gonna hit him a few times. Mazbar is going to shoot in and try to take him down. From there, Grundy's going to end up submitting him. It's going to go to the second round because Mazbar is tough. And uh, Grundy's going to have to wear him out a little bit. There you go. So that's why I say second round. So that's what I'm thinking. We're we're both in agreement. That's, that's, yeah, we don't have one separate yet. (laughs) Uh, We might now. Let's see. 